I'm Naz O'Connor and I'm a London based singer songwriter. My name is Manic MC, um, I'm a rapper, producer from North London. Uh, my name's Archie Fox. My name is Faith Child and I'm a rapper. My name is Lucy May Walker, May like the month and Walker like the crisps. Hi, I'm Chibundu Onizo. And hi, my name's Emma Rabbit. Hi, I'm Daisy Chute. My name's Martha Hill and I'm an alt slash indie pop singer songwriter from Newcastle. My name is Luca Manning and I'm a singer songwriter. I'm Becca and I make kind of electro pop. We've been through the fire, we've come through the flood. We rise from the ashes, we rise to the My music uh, initially was quite sort of self-indulgent and now still self-indulgent but I'm trying to make it more mystical and span genres and uh, trying to see where that goes. I'm a rapper, um, a songwriter, I, I dabble with spoken word poetry as well. It's mostly lyrical based. My music is jazz influenced music, we've got pop in there and rock in there as well. Uh, I fumble my way around a few instruments um, to help me with writing, a uh, bit of piano, a bit of ukulele. Um, but don't get the George Formby impression. <laughs> so my music is quite, it's interesting. It's, it's an eclectic blend of like everything. Hip hop, electro, indie and rock. And I just love putting my life, faith, experiences all into music. And just sharing love and positivity. That's really me in a nutshell. For me, music is like, it's the most incredible facilitative thing in culture. And I love that it allows us to have these conversations about things that are very difficult and awkward to talk about. To vanquish lies, we were born with the purpose, we were made to shine. Been... Covid was Covid. Yeah man, no, it was a, not an ideal time, um, kind of killed, killed a lot of momentum. But it did give me a bit of time to kind of focus on other aspects of my career that I haven't, you know, had the time to focus on so much before. Covid was surprisingly quite successful for me because um, I released an album, basically. But I had time to explore my singing, explore my music. So in that sense, actually, it was very fulfilling. It presented new opportunities. Um, I started learning about things and doing things that I never thought I'd do. And it can be seen as a difficult time in the music industry at the moment for up-and-coming artists, especially when you're doing DIY. But there are people and organisations out there that are willing to help. If I won the award, it would mean £3,000. £3,000 to do more with my music. I have two other songs I want to record and put into an EP. And yeah, that would just be very exciting if I won the award. The funding would be brilliant and would allow me to market the album that I've made. It would be really great to have some kind of support for my next project that I've been planning. I would obviously be very grateful to win the prize. I mean, it's an expensive career we're, we're in. Because I'm not really a sound engineer, the sound quality is not particularly good, so I need a great mixer to come and mix and master the record. Um, Barry is always money, it's always finance, and trying to find that from somewhere so that you can tour or so you can create. Um, it would mean a huge amount for me to win the award um, because I've basically managed to get to a point where I've recorded my debut album, I've mixed and mastered it, I've got to a very kind of final point with the actual recordings. Winning the award would make all of that possible because I've somehow managed to get this far on my own and this would just push me over the edge to being able to complete that journey. I think being a recipient of this award would really help me complete my next album, put some money behind some good marketing and really get me back on my way. We've been through the fire, we've come through the flag we rise from the ashes we rise to the dawn oh my god they were shocking unbelievable where did you learn to find this no, i'm joking they were, they were really really good people uh it was nice to 
It's been a while that I've uh, since I've gone to just see some raw music, just people getting on stage, no um, shenanigans, no uh, egos, just going on and humbly picking up the guitar and slaying. Listen, guys, take care. Yeah. Just, just hard questions. If you're if you're applying next year, check if she's on there and just come, do some research oh, so before you come. Things. Know your stuff. <laughs> she will, so she will <laughs> accept you. Uh, today was great. Um, I had such a wonderful time. It's been a long while since I've seen so many great artists, up and coming artists, just vibing on stage and it was exciting. The music was exciting, the songs, the sounds, the collaborations were great. It was really, really good. It has been so wonderful working with James Drake on the Drake Yolanda Award. We started in 2019. Unfortunately, we couldn't go ahead with the 2020 round due to not being able to be together and uh, being in isolation. But how brilliant is it to be back? James is really, really excited. Me too. And we cannot wait for the celebration concert at the Roundhouse on November the 6th. So thank you so much for applying. Do apply again for our next round in 2022 and we'll see you all very, very soon. You feel what you can never conquer.